Hey everyone, it's Devin Millar again, so this is how to import models into Need for Speed Heat. Unlike in Payback 2015 and Unbound and other games, we can only use the Lotus front and rear bumpers. These are the only meshes that can be changed in Heat. And I suggest Exilene's version of Frosty Editor, which has smoother mesh importing. The download is below. If it crashes when you try to view meshes when starting Frosty Editor, just go to Tools and then Options and then just uncheck HBAO Enabled, uncheck Show Grid and uncheck TXAA Enabled when you start it up, then click Save. Viewing meshes should work then. Make it a habit of saving as you go. Frosty Editor is extremely fragile as a program, and so is Blender, and especially what you're doing has to be done absolutely correctly, and as is, or else it will not work at all. And the results vary for everyone and every PC, so just do what I do. First in Frosty export bumper F SATA A from the Lotus as an FBX, export badge D of the Lotus as a PNG, and light glass as a PNG as well, then import the FBX in Blender. Then take your model and separate the body from the badge slash interior and the glass from the headlight slash taillight slash brake light. Then scale it down and align it with the Lotus Bumper's wheel. What we're doing is wrapping our model around the entire car, select the Lotus Bumper, and size everything down pressing S, and then scaling it down to nothing. Then delete the extra LODs, then part by part use Control J to join every part. Select the Lotus parts first and then your car parts corresponding to their parts for the car. Badge, car paint, light bucket which is the headlights and taillights, and the light glass which is for the windshield, and glass including the red glass of the taillights. Then go to edit mode, make sure you're on UV channel 0 and delete the other UV channels, open the badge picture in UV, then select all, go to the UV tab, then click reset and then click unwrap to get all the raw mappings. Select all and scale everything down and move everything to here to make it black, then make 5 extra UV channels. Now do this same process for the light layer and the glass layer as well. Select all and move them all to here to make the lights light up. Then select just the brake light and move the mapping over to here to make the brake light function. Then make 5 extra UV channels. Now for the glass layer, select everything in the glass layer and move it over to here for the glass texture, which is the windshield and glass shields. Then make the 5 extra UV channels, then afterwards, still in the glass layer, only select the tail lights, and the brake light as well, by selecting them both pressing L, and then go to the first UV channel and move the tail light glass to the abyss, cause it will turn red when it's out of bounds. So we have everything, the tail lights being red included. Now select all layers and make 4 extra copies of the LOD so that we will have 5 LODs total. This is so that the game will read our model. Now finally, export it as an FBX and make sure that under geometry that tangent space is checkmarked. You have to make sure tangent space is checkmarked or it will not work. Now go back to Frosty and go to Bumper F Set A and import your new FBX and now it's in. Now since our model is the Supra and we're gonna be replacing the Nissan Silvia as our car, because the wheels line up. All you have to do now is open the CMI files of bumper F set A of the Lotus, and then the bumper F set A of the Nissan Silvia, and copy and paste everything from the Lotus one to the Nissan Silvia one. We're replacing the front bumper as you expected, then save your project. Now go to the car blueprint of the Sylvia, go to objects then car component, go to transform and make everything 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and then 0 0.1 again, and it has to be this one so your car will have collisions. Then go to the next car component after that, then go to here and find bumper chassis F, then this folder and then this folder, and then go to transform and make it 10 by 10 by 10, because everything in Frosty Editor, as far as car models, is all multiplied by 10. So now we hid the main car and only made the front bumper visible, in other words, our model. Let's launch the game now and check. Now to fix the car parts disappearing glitch. Go back to Blender, name your parts accordingly in each LOD in all caps, then make add decimate to every single part in each LOD except the first one, and decimate them by starting on the second one 0 0.8, then the next one 0 0.6, then the next one 0 0.4. 
and then last 10.2. Then export it as an FBX again. Make sure tangent space is also checkmarked for this so the model won't smear itself. And then open a new project, open a fresh stock Lotus bumper, make it extremely small again. And then import your decimated FBX file. And now here comes the tedious part, get ready to have a lot of patience, you're gonna need it. Now join each and every single part one by one in their respective LODs, part by part, LOD after LOD, then remap everything by removing all their UV channels and making new ones except the car paint, and then remap everything in their parts, which means remap just the badges, the lights, and the glass layers, and of course make the rear side of the glass red on the first UV channel of every layer like so. After you're done doing this, then export it as an FBX again and make sure tangent space is checkmarked. Now for the license plate, go to Bumper R Set A for the Nissan Silvia, and then copy and paste everything from the CMI of Bumper Chassis R Set XE of the Ford Hot Rod to Bumper R Set A of the Nissan Silvia. This is the license plate. Go back to the blueprint of the Silvia and find Bumper Chassis R and then components and the components until you find Bumper R Set A and make it 10x10x10, 10 by 10 by 10. again. Then open to your mesh of the Supra and go to additional meshes and import the mesh of the set XE just as the mesh, which looks like this, and then position it correctly on the car. Use the WASD keys and mouse to view your car, and after you position your license plate, go back to the bumper R set A part and correlate your mesh placements by multiplying them by 10. Here's the example and the comparison, so you'll know what I mean. So now we have our license plate. You can do the license plate process for other parts like exhausts and spoilers, and you can CMI swap spoilers and exhausts from other cars like so. For the car brand name, go to item, and then here for the Nissan Silvia, and then go to here and name it whatever you like. In this case, it's the Supra. Just do what I do here, then go to brand name, replace the brand name here with SRT, then go to SRT and call this whatever you want, in this case, Toyota, then go to the Dodge Viper and replace its brand name of SRT to Dodge, like so. Now you branded your car correctly. Lastly, to avoid the Lotus parts clashing with the Lotus itself, just make the bumper F set B as the Lotus's main front bumper in the Lotus's bumper F set A. So the other Lotus bumper it has is the default Lotus bumper now. We're done. Now here's how it looks. <laughs> Now you can export your mod and play it on Frosty Mod Manager. Now you can also watch my tutorial on how to change engine sounds if you want to do that for your car too. That's all there is to it. I hope you have fun making mods for these games. I love you!